Yes, Lord, we celebrate your goodness tonight. Come on. This is Psalm for the Day, coming to you from RCCG Central Parish, the Continental Headquarters, Africa 2, Abuja. Our Psalm for today is Psalm 76, verse 7. I'm going to read Psalm 76 from verses 1 to 9. In Judah, God is known. His name is great in Israel. In Salem, also is his tabernacle, his dwelling place in Zion. There break he the arrows of the bow, the shield and the sword, and the battle. That more glorious and excellent than the mountains of prey. The stout hearted as Paul's. They have slept their sleep, and none of the men of might are upon their hands. At the lyrical God, both the chariot and the horse are cast to death. Day. Though, even though, are, that, are to be feared, you are to be feared. Who may stand in your sight when you are hungry? Thou didst cause judgment to be out from heaven. The heart feared and was saved. When God arose to judgment to save the meek of the heart. We'll be looking at Psalm 76 in the last three days as a quick background. Psalm 76, known as the Song of Asa, is a celebration song that was written after a very important victory for, the, for Israel over Ham. And of course, you can read it in, you know, uh, in Amplified Version. It will be very clear. And Bible scholars believe that this song of victory was written after God fought for Judah against Edekari, the king of Assyria as chronicled in 2 Kings chapter 18 and 19 and Isaiah 36 and 37. Just like God destroyed the king of Assyria and just one angel killed 185,000 soldiers in one night, God will destroy all your enemies stand about you. God will destroy all the enemies of Nigeria in the name of Jesus. I want you to take time to read 2 Kings chapter 18 and 19 as well as Isaiah 36 and 37. According to Bible scholars, about 700 before Christ, Sennacherib attacked Judah. But God did not allow the enemy to destroy Jerusalem, which was referred to in this psalm as Salem and Zion. Zion was the hill where the Israelites built their temple. My prayer for you today is just, just like the enemy could not overcome Jerusalem, they could not destroy Jerusalem. The enemy will not be able to destroy you and your family in Jesus' name. Whatever represents an enemy in your life, is it sickness, is it poverty, is it marital issue, is it stagnation, is it terminal illness, is it and threat to your life, threat of death, all will be destroyed in your life today in the name of Jesus. God broke their weapons, their bow, the shield, the sword of the enemy. <clears throat> he put their soldiers to sleep, he killed them. Every weapon that the enemy is using against you will be broken. It will make your enemy to sleep the sleep of death in the name of Jesus. God will send your oppressors on journey of no return. In the name of Jesus. God broke the spirit of the enemy. All your enemies will be discouraged. And they will come back. Daily, it will be victory dance in your house. In the name of Jesus. Of course, when you read verse 6, you will see that this psalm is also applicable to the victory of Israel when the Egyptians perished in the Red Sea. My prayer for you this morning is that all your enemies will perish in the Red Sea of life. In the name of Jesus. In the last three days, we reduce verses 1 to 6. Today, let's take a you know, closer look at verse 7. Verse 7 says, Though even thou art to be feared, who may stand in thy sight when once thou art hungry? The Amplified says, You, even you, are to be feared. With some missive wonder of reference, who may stand in your presence when you are hungry? As I emphasize that God is to be feared, and no one can stand in his presence when he's hungry. Seneca Rip in Israel. Sight of other nations that he had destroyed, where he burned their God in fire. He failed to recognize that the God of Israel, who made heaven and earth, shall consume fire. God became angry with Senekari and he was destroyed. 
in Hebrew 10, Hebrew 10, 30, 31, the Bible says, For we know him that he has said, Vengeance belong unto me. I will recompense, said the Lord. And again, the Lord shall judge his people. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hand of the living God. It is better not to be born. Better not to be born than to fall into the hand of the Almighty God. Because God is a consuming fire. We must therefore avoid this anger by all means. To avoid the anger of God, we must abide by his commandments. And this is actually the take home today. Brethren, as children of God, we must depart from all form of iniquity that can cause God to get angry with us. We must try to live a life of righteousness. In 2 Kings 18, the Bible gave us an insight as to the reason why God fought for Judah. Ezekiah the king at that time was described from verse 3. Let's see the description given by the Bible for Ezekiah. This is Ezekiah. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord, according to all that David his father did. He removed the high places and break the images and cut down the groves and break the pieces, the brazen serpent that Moses had made. For unto those days, the children of Israel is born, he said to him, and he called it the Shita. He trusted in the Lord. Ezekiel trusted in the Lord, God of Israel. So that after him was none like him among all the kings of Judah, nor any that were before him. He trusted God more than any other king. For he clave to the Lord. Can they say the same thing about you? For he clave to the Lord and departed not from following him, but kept his commandment which the Lord commanded Moses. And the Lord was with him. My prayer is that the Lord will be with you. As you clave to the Lord, as you hold on to him, the Lord will be with you. And he prospered whosoever he went forth. My prayer is that as you hold on to God, you will prosper in whatever you touch. And he rebelled against the king of Assyria and served him not. He smote Philistines, even unto Gaza, and the borders thereof, from the tower of the watchmen to the fence city. Can you be described the way Zechariah was described? Do you trust him? Are you living a life of righteousness? The Lord destroys his enemies because he was right in the sight of God. My prayer is that the grace to live a life of righteousness, to do what is right, the Lord will give to us in the name of Jesus. The truth is, we need the Spirit of God inside of us to live a holy life. And to have the Spirit of God in us, we must give our life to Christ. I plead with you that if you are here to know God, Please give your life to him today and you will never experience his anger in your life. As you surrender to him, he will destroy your enemies just like he did to Senecari. And you will begin to go from victory to victory in the name of Jesus. Our Father and our God, we thank you for your word today. Father, we ask that you break the weapons that the enemies are using against us and give us victory on every side just like you gave to the children of Israel. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Celebrate your goodness tonight. Come on.